Doesn't your city deserve better parking bays? Welcome to City Skylines. Come here now, girl. Hi, Bonbon bon here. By now you've probably noticed on the workshop, parking lot roads. And you're probably wondering either how it works, is it worth subscribing to? Oh well, that's what this video is all about. Let's have a closer look, shall we? First of all, you need to subscribe to uh, the, it's an asset, it's a road asset, and also find road anarchy. Other than that, there's plenty of reading to do. Ignore that, I'll show you everything that you need to know. For the purpose of today's video, we'll be visiting Assetville, which is a town that I just threw together to showcase various assets within my show WhatMap. If you don't watch WhatMap, it's a review show, hopefully finding you the best map for your next city build. Right, let's have a look. We've got here a monument that could do with some parking. Right, let's open up the road menu, because these parking bays are not parks, they're roads. First of all, you've got your standard roads and your two lane roads, blah de blah de blah, all the way up. At the end, you've got road condition. Click that, and this opens up a whole world of new assets for you. And you're going to say, yeah, but these are just parks, aren't they? No, they're roads. Let's show you. First of all, we're going to choose this road here, which is the uh, parking, parking lot service road. I knew that, you knew that. I'm going to extend it up way too far. Always the thing to do. And then on this side, I'm going to do one on the other side as well, like that to the end. Right, we've got two roads running up here now. Let's start putting in some parking. Now these, you've got a 22 meter parking lot, a 40 meter and a 58 meter. That's the width, not the length. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to go with a 22 meter. From there, draw it straight across, and that is 22 meters wide. Could be as long as you like. In theory, come from this side, we can drive it all the way down to the sea if we wanted to. Probably a little bit too long for our needs. Let's bulldoze that. Okay, and back out of that. So that's your 22 meter. Let's then drop in this one alongside it. And then alongside that, you've got this one. There. I'm just going to, I think we could connect those two up with, bring this out a little bit more. And then we can connect that up from a little bit more even. Stop it. You hate it when it clips too. There we are. Bish. And then we shall bulldoze the excess like such. Right, so there's our parking lots right behind our memorial. It's lovely. What do we do now? Well, now we're going to have to put in some parking bays. You can see these are blank. First of all, we're going to come out of bulldozer mode. We've got a single space bay. We've got a one by one. Then we've got a one by one accessible parking bay. A one by one electric vehicle parking bay. A four by one, a three by two, a 4x2 and an 8x2. Those are your options. Right, let's see, first of all, what's going to fit best here for us. 4x1, it's probably not far wrong, but we want it on either side. So we're going to choose a 4x2 here. It's going to come over here. Turn on uh, Fine Road Anarchy using Control A. And then you should be able to plop down your parking right on top of your roads. Like such. I uh, just want to uh, extend that a little bit closer to the end of the bay. So about there. And we'll do one on the other side like such. Come a bit further, come on. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it'll do. It's only a tutorial. Right, so there we go. So that's that one. See how simple that was. Now we'll do the same with, so you've got an eight by two is huge. We'll stick with the four by two for now. And rather than fill in every gap, we'll just be creative and leave a little space on each end. For the people that don't know how to park, a bit of room at the end, you know, park it in sideways. Everybody's got a relative that doesn't know how to park a car, don't they? Anyway, there's that. 
Now what's happened here, this one, we need to use move it to raise the, um, raise the parking bays up just a fraction. We're not going to do that now, because you know how to use move it. And then over here, look at this, we've got all this space here as well. Once again, I'm going to use 4x2s. Oh no, that's too big. Or 3x2s then. Once again, what I would do normally is you'd park one right there and fill in the gaps on the end with an appropriate sized asset. Like this uh, one by one by one like that would be just about right. But then obviously you have got your alternatives like your, your disabled parking, which could go right there backing onto that you might have your electric car parking if you've got green cities that's the way to go isn't it so one see that and then we could do a few more of those alongside oh once again i am being very slapdash with my placement because it's just a tutorial see how easy that is now the question is are cars going to use them Right, we now have our first visitors to encourage people to come along. I've plopped down the casino. People are just using the parking bays at the very front there for the for the memorial. But over here, we've already got our first two visitors come to use the casino. Quite right too. Well, that's all you really need to know. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. All the links you'll need are in the description down below. Join me for What's Map on Monday to Saturday and we'll have a party. Have a great day guys and I'll see you very, very soon.